and he's a scorpion. Well, last season they left us on a cliffhanger with Duda that involved Brandon. This season, they basically leaving us on another similar cliffhanger with Duda involving Trig and potentially Papa's daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the season finale of The Shy. A lot of you all probably didn't like it that much. But for me, it was fine because it was just basically the wind down to everything that went on this season. They already had the climax when they saved Keisha. And I think that might have been what a lot of people wanted to see. We'll break down the top five WTF moments of the finale in this video. And we'll do some videos going forward to discuss what it was you wanted to see in the finale. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. I'll be going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. And shout out to everyone that enjoys seeing my baby girl in the video. We'll bring her back since you all responded so well to her. And I think I might even do some Raising the Baby Girl Dad videos going forward. Leave me comments if you want to see that as she grows. Now let's go ahead and dive on into this list. The number five WTF moment. Papa Daddy gets arrested while they're trying to bury Ronnie in a funeral. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a setup from the first time we seen Papa's daddy accept money from Camille. And, uh, you know, a lot of you all were thinking that there's no problem with him accepting money. And there isn't. It's just the manner in which you do it. And we later find out that he was money laundering because the police said he was down there singing like a mockingbird on Sunday morning. So that just leaves you to question, who is he singing on? Camille or Duda? It's got to be Duda. It has to be Duda. There's nothing really for him to sing on Camille about. When Jake broke into the house and got those documents out of Duda's locker and gave them to Camille, Camille decided not to even use them because she wanted to be a, a, a candidate of integrity. But ladies and gentlemen, you can cool believe whatever money laundering information he has is definitely on Duda, and they're kicking that down the road till next season. The number four WTF moment. Trig wins the battle for Jake, but not because he outwitted Duda, but because Duda didn't show up. And I thought it was very telling that when they was in the court case, in the courtroom, excuse me, and Duda wasn't there, Clearly, I think we all knew Duda wasn't there for a reason. It wasn't like Duda didn't show up because, you know, he got stuck in traffic. We knew this whole season he was using Jake. Now, when he had that moment when he told Jake about killing his brother, of which, ladies and gentlemen, his brother is dead. But I told y'all from jump, he was dead. No Reg. Reg ain't coming back and he ain't show up. But he told him that to keep a hold on Jake mentally. And in this episode, we find out he becomes mayor. And not only is he going to have power and control over Jake, but he's going to have power and control also over Trig. Because now that he is the mayor, he's going to put his people in place to have someone be the leader of his street stuff. And he wants Trig to do that, who is overseeing Jake which means he now has control over Jake and Tree. I'm trying to go back to jail. Oh, the cops won't bother you. I'm going to change out the chief of police for my head of security. And he'll make sure you have everything you need. Okay. There's a new sheriff in town, motherfucker. And if I was Trig, I'd be ready to skip town because did you see the way that guy gave him that Barney Fife laugh when he walked out of Trig's house? Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a diabolical situation. And I hope that they go ahead and renew this show for next year so we can see how it plays out. Number three WTF moment. Kev and Jenna finally smash. It's hard for me to watch these kids grow up, but Kev done got him some. And it lasted every bit of two minutes or less from a microwave dinner. 
And what brought them back together was she broke down and she revealed something deep and revealing about her that she goes to counseling because she has some issues about suicide. And that seemed to kind of put Kevin back over the top in being close with Gemma. And that led to them smashing. It also led to Kevin revealing that he's going to counseling and they start talking about counseling all over again. So that person we've been trying to figure out who can Kevin reach out to, to be in this corner to kind of be a voice or reason for him Looks like it might become Gemma. Maybe they'll go to counseling together. And hopefully this can be someone that's going to have a great long-standing impact in Kevin's life. Number two WTF moment, storyline. Emmett and Tiff finally get married. But there was really no mention of Dominique. And the questions you have is how long would this marriage last considering Dominique is roaming around. She's at the business with Emmett every single day and that's going to be a temptation every single day. It's kind of like when you have someone go to AA and they're trying to clean up and not drink anymore. You aren't supposed to be around it. Well, the last thing that he smashed before they got married is going to be tiptoeing around him with a fat booty every single day. How is he going to resist that temptation? And the storyline leading up to their marriage, his mother Jada takes Tiff to basically a bachelorette party and Tiff says she didn't want any male stripper so Lena Waif put it in the storyline to bring a female stripper. Now I know a lot of y'all have hated that Lena Waif has interjected the LGBT movement into her storyline. I don't have a problem with it just simply because don't y'all know white folks were saying this about black folks back in the day? Why are they forcing their narratives into storyline. So, I mean, I'm cool with it and I don't see no problem with it. The only thing I had a problem with is Lena Waif's acting is not inspiring. I've talked about her first speech she did earlier in the season that didn't inspire me. The speech Lena Waif gave um, when she lost this mayor, mayor race wasn't inspiring, but she's a damn good writer, damn good producer, but I can't say nothing on the acting. Then we go to Emmett and all the things that led up for his bachelorette party and what did y'all expect from his daddy? <laughs> it got so bad, Emmett just left and came home early, which tells you everything you need to know about his damn daddy trying to set up a bachelorette party, a bachelor party for him. The number one WTF moment, Keisha decides to keep the baby. Now, if y'all been following my stories and my videos and my live streams, you know I've been saying Keisha was going to keep this baby because oftentimes when people have deep psychological trauma in their life, they lose someone or it feels like everything is closing in on them, people have this need to want to take care of something. A lot of people go out, buy dogs, buy cats. They buy something they can take care of to feel like they're giving it love, to feel like they're needed, to feel like they have a purpose for taking care of something. Well, for Keisha, it's going to be that she's going to keep her baby, and you're hearing it here first. She's going to name the baby Ronnie, probably, if we get to go to next season. The only thing I didn't like was they waited this long to tell Kevin. Kevin should have known from jump. And for those of you that are upset with the way Kevin reacted, what do you expect from Kevin? Kevin has basically been pushed to the side in this family. And I know that what he's going through is not the biggest plight in the family. But ladies and gentlemen, I said family. They are a family. and You have to include him in what's going on so that when something of this magnitude happens, he doesn't erupt and run away. But I think Kevin is going to be good because he's got Gemma in his corner. But she's going to have the baby and she's going through some emotions right now that Maybe they'll write some storylines about next season. And to sum this all up, ladies and gentlemen, this episode, the finale, was nothing but a tie-up of all the things that have happened in this storyline so that you can see where these characters are going next. Emmett and Tiff get married. They tied that storyline up. Papa and Maisha, she finally put her chain on him. Tied up that storyline. They're dating. Jake has Trig. And then we now know that Duda is going to be trying to use both of them. That storyline is solidified. And the thing that solidified Keisha's storyline wasn't that she's going to have the baby. 
but it was her at the very end going out for a jog all by herself, getting her freedom back that the stalker and the abductor took from her. She's gotten a part of that freedom back, meaning that she might be taking the correct steps going forward in life to get back on the road of recovery. The only storyline they didn't sew up that I have an issue with, and I guess we'll have to wait till next season, what happened to Rico Suave and Jada's storyline? When we last seen him, he was trying to push up, maybe move in with her on the low low, but they didn't finish the storyline out. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the shy. I will probably make a video on the top 10 moments of the season, but let me know all your thoughts about this particular season, this particular episode, something that I missed in this episode, what you wanted me to say, and be sure to follow us as we go live Monday night to recap everything that happened. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life gain. Follow me on Instagram. I will be dropping my portfolio stock video tomorrow on a put that you guys could possibly do to make you some money in the upcoming week. And also be sure to download that Robinhood app so that you guys are making money in this stock market because the conditions are great right now. To that next sex is hell video. I'll see you.